Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. This state-of-the-art stealth titan redefined the term air supremacy. The F-22 Raptor stands as a testament to the pinnacle of human ingenuity, which brought stealth technology and thrust vectoring to a whole new level. The fighter costs a small fortune, but the advanced features make it a compelling exchange for the dominance it assures. In response to the emerging need for an advanced air superiority fighter, the U.S. Air Force established the Advanced Tactical Fighter Program in 1981. The main focus was asserting dominance in the skies, as a threat loomed with contemporary competitors like the Mickey on MiG-29, and Sukhoi Su-27. Two companies, Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman, were selected in 1986 for a demonstration and validation phase, where two prototypes, the YF-22 and YF-23, were manufactured. The YF-22 was Lockheed's technology demonstrator prototype while the YF-23 was Northrop's offering. It was claimed that the YF-22 was superior in terms of agility and maneuverability. On the other hand, the YF-23 prototype was more stealthy and had a higher thrust-to-weight ratio, but lacked thrust vectoring. Ultimately, the YF-22 became the top pick out of the two prototypes, the YF-22 became the F-22 Raptor and the first fifth-generation fighter. Low-rate initial production of the Raptor began in 2001 and received approval for full-rate production in 2005. The F-22 fulfilled the demand set by the ATF program by inheriting a surprisingly low radar cross-section, or RCS. The Raptor is claimed to have a frontal RCS of around 0.0001 square meters, which is even less than the RCS of an insect. The magic behind this jaw-dropping achievement is the stealthy shaping of the fuselage and the usage of radar-absorbing material, or RAM. As the name suggests, Radar absorbent materials absorb the electromagnetic wave energy of the signal, thus minimizing the strength of the reflected signal. The F-22 Raptor uses a polymer-based radar absorbent coating all over its external surfaces. While stealth capabilities cloak the presence of the F-22, Thrust vector control inherits unmatched agility at every phase of the flight, even with afterburners. The fighter is equipped with two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles that could vector thrust along the pitch axis of the fighter. The convergent, divergent nozzle pivots 20 degrees up or down to vector thrust. Thrust vectoring is integrated into the fighter's flight control system and controlled by the Full Authority Digital Electronic Control, or FADEC, without pilot intervention. While flight control surfaces become less effective at slow speeds and high speeds, thrust vectoring bolsters the effectiveness of flight control surfaces. Thus, thrust vectoring acts as another set of flight control surfaces in high demand maneuvers, especially in post-stall regimes where conventional control surfaces are no longer effective.
While the F-22 is embellished with all of these features, the most imperative of all is its advanced weapon systems. The Raptor is capable of carrying a diverse weapon load, catering to its air-to-air -air or air-to-ground mission profile. In the air-to-air -air loadout, the fighter carries six AIM-120 radar-guided air-to-air missiles in its main internal weapon bay. In addition, two air-to-air -air AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles are carried inside the two side bays. In the air-to-ground loadout, the main bay carries two 1,000-pound GBU-32 JDAM bombs. And two AIM-120 missiles while the two Sidewinder missiles at the side bays remain unchanged. The Raptor is capable of performing an on-axis or off-axis delivery of these armaments while in a dive, toss or loft at any given altitude. The perfect blend of performance, agility and stealth with formidable firepower provides the first kill opportunity and ease of attacking heavily guarded targets with reduced exposure to ground-to-air threats. In addition to beyond visual range weapons, a 20mm M61A2 Gatling gun is buried in the fuselage as the last resort weapon to call for action. The fighter receives a total of 70,000 pounds of thrust from its two Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW-100 engines. Thrust vectoring nozzles channel this immense thrust during takeoff to achieve a higher pitch rate and a shorter takeoff run. Thrust vectoring control improves the fighter's roll rate by almost 50%. The Raptor is claimed to have a climb rate of 62,000 feet per minute, which is pretty impressive. This narrows the enemy's surface-to-air and air-to-air -air engagement envelopes, making it harder to track and engage on the F-22. The F-22 delivers more power than any other fighter in the U.S. Air Force. The higher thrust-to-weight ratio endows the F-22 with superior maneuverability and acceleration. As the total thrust produced exceeds the typical weight of the fighter, it can accelerate even while on a vertical climb. In addition, the F-22 has a lower wing loading compared to other contemporary fighters which offers excellent maneuverability at low speeds and tight turning capabilities. Apart from its high agility, the survivability of the Raptor is further complemented by its super cruise capability. The F-22 can cruise at speeds greater than Mach 1.5 without firing the afterburner, which keeps the fighter's undesirable infrared signature low. The ability of the fighter to travel faster without compromising its stealth offers the perfect blend for a surprise attack. The F-22 Raptor, as the mainstay fighter in the U.S. military, should have the capability for dispersed operations. as the aircraft is designed to operate from austere or battle-damaged runways. The availability of ground support becomes the Achilles heel for swift operations. To overcome this hurdle, the U.S. Air Force has invented StarCard, a refueling platform that could cater to the refueling needs of fighters in remote locations. 
It's an all-in-one kit that pumps fuel at a rate of 300 gallons per minute and is more convenient to operate than conventional refueling platforms. The availability of Starcart empowers the agile combat employment efforts of the U.S. military, improving their readiness for unprecedented threats. When it comes to maintaining the F-22, the stealth coding and weapon systems are the most important. Even slight damage to the coating can compromise the low observability of the fighter to a greater extent. The challenges associated with maintaining the low observable system resulted in a major drop in the mission capable rate of the F-22 fighters to a value of around 50%. Once damage to the coating has been identified, airmen sand and clean the area. Once prepared, the boot coat or the radar absorbent coating is applied. A top coat is applied on top of the boot coat. To overcome the immense man-hour requirement, the U.S. Air Force has employed robots to paint the radar absorbent coating of the Raptors. Robots effortlessly paint the complex serpentine engine inlets, the part that is more prone to coating damage and where painters find it most challenging. Akin to the delicate care given to stealth features, airmen contribute to the maintenance of the weapon systems too. For the M61A2 machine gun, the gun firing log is the entry point for maintenance. Airmen refer to the log that records the number of rounds fired during the flight to decide the required maintenance level. Routine maintenance activities like torquing the bolts and changing breech bolt assemblies are performed at specific round intervals. When the round interval reaches a value of 120,000 rounds, the gun is detached from the fighter and sent to a depot level maintenance facility. Despite being the most formidable flying machine, operating the F-22 had its intricacies and drawbacks. Financial burden was the most prominent concern out of all. The per hour operating cost of the Raptor is greater than $80,000. Here they go, there goes one. While that of the F-16 costs a little less than $30,000. Over, delete altitude restriction. I copy, delete altitude restriction now. Meanwhile, the global trend towards fighter jets move towards multi-role fighters, which are more versatile and affordable. This gave rise to the Joint Strike Fighter program, which led to the development of the F-35 Lightning II a technologically advanced and cost-effective fighter aircraft. The F-35 Lightning II is brimming with the same stealth capabilities that the F-22 endowed. The fighter is equipped with advanced sensor fusion, an electronic warfare system, and avionic systems to fulfill its multi-role missions. The advent of more versatile F-35 fighters further enhanced the capabilities of the U.S. military to disperse operations from centralized infrastructure. In the context of agile combat employment, air-to-air -air refueling plays a pivotal role. And the F-35 can extend its range and operational flexibility with mid-air refueling. Out of the three variants, the F-35A receives fuel from a boom. While the F-35B and C variants receive fuel via the probe and drogue method. In F-35A refueling, the rigid boom inserts into the aircraft's fuel receptacle to supply fuel. Five two. That was eight point nine or eight point nine. I'll be good to go. The versatility of the F thirty five is further proven by its enhanced capability to provide close air support for ground troops. The fighter has an internal GAU twenty two A twenty five millimeter Gatling gun, which fires at a fierce rate of thirty three hundred shots per minute. In addition to that. 
The fighter can destroy high-value assets with high-explosive ordinances like GBU-31 JDAMs. As it seems like the F-35 Lightning II is the ultimate fighter aircraft, the harmonic fusion of stealth, agility, power and maneuverability of the F-22 holds the ability to outperform any fighter. This marks the unassailable nature of the Raptor and convinces us of the importance of its presence in modern air-to-air -air combat. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.